Are you ready for an adventure? Well, we're checking in on this Senior Boogie Board Club. I love this story, Zach. Yeah. I think a lady, was she 95? She's still out there on her boogie board. On the boogie board, catching waves on a board. Absolutely. Now, you're a surfer, right, Zach? Yep. What is the difference between a surfboard and a boogie board? Boogie board, you're going to lay flat on your chest, mm -hmm. horizontally, whereas mm -hmm. with surfing, uh, traditionally, you're standing up, you're vertical. All right, there you have it, pretty simple. Well, what got you into surfing, Zach? Uh, for me, it was watching a friend go out to the beach and seeing him surf and just how much fun he was having. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've always been drawn to water. I like to swim. So surfing seemed like a natural thing to try. Yeah, and so you've been surfing for a while now? Yeah, I think ugh, close to 10 years. Wow, that's, mm -hmm. so you must be a pretty good surfer. What's one of the best places you've ever gone surfing? I've done the majority of my surfing right here in Taiwan. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, along the East Coast, there's lots of fun spots. I tried it once, Zach, down in Taidong. How'd you, how'd you do? I wasn't really able to stay up on the board very long at all, but it was lots of fun. I mean, for my first time, I felt like it was okay. I mean, it wasn't great by any stretch of the imagi but imagination. But so many people but. describe their first experience just like that. Yeah. It's hard, it's difficult, but it's so much fun. Yeah, it was. So try it out, maybe when it gets a little warmer. All right, so what is one thing that is rewarding about surfing for you, Zach? You get to have fun. <laughs> That's good. And obviously being in the water is, it's really healthy, I think. It keeps you fit. Mm -hmm. um, paddling is not easy. So I always feel like I've just like left the gym in a yeah, way yeah, yeah. After, after surfing. So but, how long can you go surfing for? I'm sure it takes a lot of energy. It's true. That, that's a really good point. Maybe a couple hours. Okay. And after that, I'm, I'm pretty winded. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. even just swimming in the water takes a lot of effort, right? So I Absolutely. can imagine that. Well, what are your thoughts, Zach, about these seniors who still are able to catch some waves? I mean, even at age 95. Oh, I love it. It's great. You know, I, I recall, I remember meeting a guy who was uh, in retirement in Taiwan and he was, you know, always in the water each weekend. Mm -hmm. And you could just tell how much he enjoyed that, that time. All right. Let's fast forward, Zach. You're in your 70s or 80s. What sport do you see yourself doing at that age? Well, if, if I've had a good life and God lets me, I would like to be surfing at, at 70 or 80. I think mm, that would be... Not playing shuffleboard or something like that. No. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Thank you, Zach, for sharing your insights about surfing. And I think this article encourages us, no matter our age, to get out and go after an adventure wherever you can find it. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time here on Insights.